Oh, that sensor. Bob Guza was out in Cardiff today with his team from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, burying sensors in the sand. These sensors are going to be measuring the water depth and the height of waves. Guza is here because Highway 101 runs right past the beach and the storms and tomorrow's high tides may run over the road. And so we're anticipating that the water may rush all the way up to the riprap and the rocks bordering the Highway 101 here and even get out onto the highway. We're not sure. But what we're doing is measuring the waves as they come ashore we have instruments further out as well, and we're watching them as they come ashore, run up the beach, and how high up do they get. guza has been studying San Diego's beaches for more than seven years. The buried sensors help him develop models of how sand migrates with wave action. It, it basically weighs the height of the water. If it's tall, it's a heavy weight. So we watch, if you will, the weight or the pressure go up and down. What's more, Guza says, this winter's El Nino could give us a glimpse into the future. The reason I say that is because sea level is higher during El Nino because of the wind patterns and because the water is warmer. So the water level is higher, maybe 15 or 20 centimeters. Well, that might be the equivalent of depending on sea level rise of 30 or 40 or 50 years of sea level rise. So to the extent that this is highly destructive, if it is, it's scary because there's more of it coming. Allison St. John, KPBS News.